Here on Chicago's Best, we're thankful for all our fans and your suggestions that help fuel our show. Having said that, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without a pumpkin pie. And thanks to your suggestions on email, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, we're here in Evanston at Benison's. All right, Jerry. As far as I understand, in the baking world, the higher hat, the more experience you have, right? <laughs> That's so exactly right. I'm guessing you have roughly, what, 25, 30 years experience in the uh, business? A little more than that. A little, a little more, more than, than that? that? Yeah, 42. So tell us a little bit about the history, how this place got established. Larry Benison started Benison's Bakery on the Chicago's North Shore. And in 1967, my dad purchased the bakery from the Benison family. You guys are almost as old as Thanksgiving itself. Well, we didn't come over on the Mayflower, no, but we've been here since 1938. What do you have to be thankful for this year? Oh, the support of the Evanston community. <laughs> That's a hard question. Right? Yeah. It's been a great year, hasn't it? I'm thankful for new beginnings and things coming around the corner. I have 18 children, grandchildren. 19. What? 19. Okay, fine. I'm thankful oh, for you. come on. <laughs> so we have a fan joining us today. Mm -hmm. Seeing as it's the season, we thought we should bake a pumpkin pie with you guys. Oh, absolutely. It's one of three recipes left from the Benison family. Uh, we haven't changed it in the 50 years we've been here. Am I baking with you? No, you're going to be baking with Gina Figura. She's the pumpkin pie maker? Yes, she is. I just wanted to check. It wasn't like you were going to lose a couple of inches off the top of your hat. No, 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 no. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to give those inches up. Never give up an inch. Right. <laughs> Gina, you don't have a ridiculously tall hat. You're clearly not an experienced baker. Maybe five, six, seven years experience? Um, I have four. That's four more years than me. Let's start mixing our pie dough. <laughs> Could we not ignore the fact that Gina's way shorter than me? Do you want me to tell you what it looks like from up here? Yeah. Um, it looks like dough. dough. Time to press our shells. I have the pumpkin power. Oh yeah, we need to make the pumpkin. Then you make... have the pumpkin power. Okay. We got sugar, salt, cinnamon, some cornstarch, ginger, and allspice. Plumps. No lumps in our pie. Miranda, hold that. We don't want that in our pie. With all the lumps out, we finally add our star ingredient. We only use Seneca pumpkin from New York. What's wrong with Evanston pumpkins? I'm sure Evanston does not have enough pumpkins. There's the politically correct answer. Mm -hmm. That's those New York pumpkins. Now we're going to let this sit overnight, and then we make pies in the morning. But you have some ready to go to put into fillings. Sure do. Can you do that? Because I need to go and meet my fan at the front. Maybe you'd be less bossy if you had a hat. Stephen posted an awesome video on our Chicago's Best page, and we wanted him to come and join us on a show. Thank you, thank you. No, no, we're thankful for you, my friends. I like having low-key spots that you can go and have great food at, and we always find places to go and have our Sunday dinner. You guys nail it every single time with these places. I feel like you and I could be in a boy band singing some kind of soul number about Pumpkin, how she's the only girl for you. My, my, Miss Pumpkin Pie. <laughs> I know where I'm getting my pumpkin pie from. I want to ask you what you are thankful for this year. I'm just fortunate to be in a good position in a wonderful country and a beautiful city like Chicago. Should we do our Stephen Elliott handshake out? Yes. All right. We out. Yeah! I don't want to nobody. I don't want to nobody.